Hello, I want to share with you a unique fact about food supply agriculture that is making a positive contribution to our environment and yet allowing dairy farmers to produce our food bountifully and more economically. First, we need to learn a little bit about a group of animals called ruminants. Now this is animals like cows, sheep, and goats and they have four compartments to their stomach so that they can utilize many different products that other animals can't. The first compartment is the rumen, which is a huge fermentation vat that allows them to eat grass and other forages. Cows scarf down grass, hay, forages, and then go off and lay down to rest, cough that forage up, and rechew it, mixing it with lots of saliva, which buffers the pH, and re-swallows it. This is referred to as chewing their cud, and many of you have probably heard that term before. When they've swallowed the cud and it's mixed with the saliva, there are millions of little protozoa and bacteria teeming in the fermentation vat that allows them to ferment the cellulose in the grass and convert it to energy and break down the protein that's there also. Now the protein is broke down into nitrogen which of course is released as ammonia and then the rumen microbes or these little bugs capture that ammonia and rebuild amino acids which of course is converted into meat and milk. There's a small amount of that nitrogen that when a cow's burping to cough up her cud and chew more that is released in the atmosphere as methane. Now in the 1930s many scientists were concerned that the methane released by dairy cows was contributing to depletion of the ozone layer. Recent studies suggest that there isn't near as much methane being released as originally thought. It's a win-win situation because cows are converting grass into energy and protein and also making a positive contribution to the environment. Now, let me talk about this new tool, this technology that I mentioned earlier that is contributing to this issue. And it is a feed additive called monensin. Monensin stimulates the rumen bugs to be more efficient so that they can make more energy on about 10% less feed consumed by the dairy cow. They also allow the rumen bugs to capture more nitrogen to convert into amino acids and cows actually will consume about 10% less feed and make more milk. Pennies for monensin fed to each cow increases performance by about 10%, reduces the methane production, it's great for the environment, it's more profitable for grassland cattle, it's more profitable in feedlots, and cows make more milk. Is that a deal or what? That's it. This is Doc Sanders. We'll see you down the road. Dr. Dave Smith, Freshwater Farms of Ohio, joins us. Dave, as you look at health trends in today's fish side of the industry, are there some myths out there that we may not really know that much about but should? Yeah, there's a lot of confusion in the public about uh, what, how much fish they should eat and things like that. And, and one of the things that you have to remember is there's never been an eating advisory on any farm-raised fish. When they're talking about only up to 12 ounces of fish a week, they're talking about if you're catching out of Lake Erie and, and open water and, and where there's unfortunately some contamination. But uh, one of the studies that just came out a few weeks ago was they looked at mothers, 14,000 mothers that had eaten the recommended only 12 ounces or less or the ones that ate more. The ones that ate less, their kids had 50% more learning disabilities, uh, significant changes in, in cognitive behavior. So now they're looking at, well, you know, they said only 12 ounces. Well, we probably should be looking at more than that per week, which breaks down to about three, three times a week. Down the Road is brought to you in part by Prince Agra, makers of Omnigen AF, advancing animal nutrition for healthy animals. And Woodruff Enterprise of Springfield, Ohio, 